guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag slash sort of like what fits in the Givenchy Antigona uh, this is the size small and I have it in the smooth calf skin and this is the newer version so the strap is removable and the interior lining um, based off of what the associate said it is different, so the older version has a polyester interior lining versus a canvas lining on the interior. Uh, he said, I believe, so I'm not sure if he's 100% correct on that, but that is just coming from somebody that's working in the Givenchy Boutique, so I would assume that it's probably most likely correct. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have loaded this bag up. I'm going to be doing three scenarios. So this is going to be my gonna go out and find somewhere remote to sit down and work scenario. For the most part, my bag really is kind of in this scenario, to be honest, because I'm one of those, hi Emmy, I'm one of those people that just freaks out and I don't know when I'll be stuck somewhere and I want to work at all times. So I always carry my laptop with me, which is why I decided on this size because it just fits perfectly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, if you would, hi Emmy, if you would like to see the other scenarios, the other scenario will be, um, going to the gym and then also for, uh, going and just walking around. So for example, traveling, uh, I do like to change things up if I'm going traveling. For example, if I'm walking around New York, sorry, Emmy is having a little meltdown of I want my belly rubbed right now. So, um, hi Emmy, not right now, not right now, baby, not right now. I love you. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I will show you guys what's in this bag. So, uh, ignoring the cats, if we open the zipper, once you open it, you can see it is it's not quite all the way filled up, really. You probably still have some space to put some other stuff in there. Um, but this is kind of just my essentials for whenever I need to go out and sit and work somewhere. Um, so the first thing we have here is my scarf. So this is the Burberry scarf. Um, this is the one that's mixed with silk and, I believe, wool. So it's not quite as heavy, but it's still pretty warm. I like to put this in here just in case I get cold outside and I need to kind of cover up my neck a little bit. So I'll put that right over here. Next thing we have here, and I'm actually going to show you guys what else space we have. See how much space is in there? Really the scarf is just like big air taker that's about it it's not really heavy so you could put like heavier things in here if you really wanted to um the next thing i have in here i'm going to take the big one out is my louis vuitton clutch this is the little clutch that comes with the louis vuitton never full mm so i keep this thing pretty full i am looking for a different toiletry bag to be honest so if you guys have any um recommendations i'd love to hear it because i don't really like using this outside of my Neverfull because then I feel like it's going to wear down differently from my Neverfull. I don't know if that sounds crazy, but I'm a little bit picky on that. Um, what's in here, I have a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I have my lip balm. This is by, I believe you pronounce it Laniage or Laniage. Uh, this is one of the ones that came in like a kit. I absolutely love it. This one smells like apples. It came with three different flavors. So it had this one, well, three different smaller flavors and then a bigger one that is the regular like strawberry scent. So this is a apple. They had a grapefruit and then also vanilla. So I have the apple one in my bag. So next thing I have in here is going to be my Dior Dream Skin compact uh, i love this i actually really just got this recently but i think it works wonders it still covers it has this little pad in there so i just feel like it's perfect for um traveling around if you need to do a little bit of touch up it does cover up um a little bit so it's nothing like extreme but it does cover up enough and then i have a bunch of lipsticks so we have let's see here one, two, 
three, four, four. That's not too bad. I've seen worse. So I have four lipsticks. Um, majority of them are from Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, just because I do love their lip products a lot. So the majority of them are from there. I have this one in the color 53. Maybe you guys can see it. Oh my gosh, Luna, why? So I have this one in 53. Is that upside down? Yeah. So I have this one in 53. And this is the Huda Beauty in Muse. And then I have this one. I believe this one's a 47. This one I use so much, it's like all coming off. But it's a beautiful color. Excuse my cats. And then this one is a new one that I just got. This is a 51. Usually what happens is whenever I dye my hair, I try to find the best lip shade to go with it. Um, this one went with my older hair color, which I had this like um, rose gold pinky color. And then my more pinker color, which is this one, kind of goes with my kind of periwinkle gray hair color. Oh my gosh, I can't open this for my life. There you go. So you can see it's like a more blue tinted pink. So cooler pink. So those are the lipstick that goes in there. What? I have my little repair cream. This is not for my face, actually. I know it's for your face, but I just use it on my hands because it was one of those Sephora beauty perks and it works. So it's the perfect size. I don't care. <laughs> so that's that. And then next, okay, we're going to forget about that. We know what that is. Um, we already looked at that. Oop. I know, don't throw stuff at your purses, guys. Um, this one, this is actually like a little rosary that my mom gave me when I was little. I always keep this in here. Um, it's kind of like a good luck charm. And, ver and it's just been with me for years and years. I always keep it with me regardless of where I go. Uh, so it's just really important for me throw that over there <laughs> and then let's see here oh this is my eyebrow gel uh, this is also from Givenchy what what do you know um this is the eyebrow gel that is gray so it works perfectly with my hair uh, I don't know maybe it's just me but I think the shades goes perfectly so that's gonna go there uh, let's see we looked at that already uh, let's see here this is a Miu Miu Perfume. I actually really like this perfume. Um, never bought the bigger bottle, but I do love it. I don't know if it's because Miu Miu sounds like cats or because it actually does smell really good. So that's going to go there. Next, let's see. Also have this really dirty YSL mirror that I got from like a kit I got from a outlet. So put that in there. I don't know, it's just a bunch of papers and that's it. So... So that is the clutch that was in my bag. Next is, so you can see, now we have a lot more space. Apparently I have glass stuffed in there. I didn't even know. So let's go to the next thing. I have a hairbrush. This is from Milk and Sass. I don't know where I bought this from. I think Amazon. Uh, it's super cute. It's just like a hairbrush, so. Just has like a hairbrush. It's kind of icky because I have like, you know, I brush my hair and hair gets stuck in there. So I don't really want to show you guys all that much, but it is a really cute like little macaron hairbrush. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna throw that over there. Next item, we're gonna take out this on the bottom. So I am the absolute worst when it comes to taking care of glasses or sunglasses, but I'm also bad in that I do like getting nice things, but I just don't take care of them. And glasses and sunglasses are one of those things. I got these glasses from Lens Crafters, and I absolutely love them. They are Valentino, and so I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really scream Valentino. But I just like that it had like the little metal edge and then it has like a little rock stud here, little tiny rock stud over there, and it is clear on the side. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think that's pretty cool. So that is my glasses and they are really dirty. So I'm going to pop those over there. 
So inside the bag there is a little like zipper pocket here. I surprisingly did not put anything in there. Next I'm going to pull out my wallet. So this is just the uh, Louis Vuitton wallet in Josephine with the rose ballerine color interior with a monogram outer. So that's that one. Next I have a matching key holder. So I do have my initials on there. Rose ballerine interior and monogram outer. So that's going to go over there. Next we have, I have my charger for my computer, which Emmy chewed up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she chewed it all up. I love her to bits, but she is my terror child sometimes. Next we have, uh, this is like a little memory card reader. I take a lot of photos and I'm always editing photos. I'm also a wedding photographer, guys, so... I need this stupid thing with me at all times. And next I have, whoop, almost dropped it. I have my little Apple AirPods, right? Yes, AirPods. I have my AirPods, ooh, it's charged, yay. So I have those in there. And that one I kept on the other side pocket. Let me see if I can show you guys. Right there. So you, I had it in here. It's got this little like small squishy pocket right next. I have my card holder, which is the YSL card holder. Uh, most people get the one with the chevron on there. I just got a plain one because I really like the pink and it's got the symbol here. This does not flap up. It is stuck on there and I just have my Metro card in there so it's easy to use. And let's see here. Anything else? Oh, my phone. Hey, this is from New York. Isn't this cute? So cute. I think it's an alpaca. Okay, so last but not least, uh, last item in there, which is my laptop. You do have to kind of wiggle it out a little bit. Usually you just got to get this corner out first, but it does fit in there perfectly and it can close. So this is the gold um, MacBook, just a regular MacBook. It's actually smaller than the Air or at least at the time I bought this, it was smaller than the air. So it does fit in there quite easily. So you can see it's really just the struggle of taking it out. That's it. But it fits in there perfectly. And I was also able to fit all of that junk over there in this bag. So scenario number two is to the gym. So this is if I decide that I want to go to the gym later, but I don't really feel like wearing gym clothes. I want to wear my going out clothes and then after the gym I'm going to change back into my going out clothes. So this is with it filled all the way up to capacity. I change a couple of things around just because I need to. So here is the first item. You can see it's pretty filled all the way up. Uh, first item is my jacket. So this is just my Lululemon Define jacket. I just have that in there because I usually start off the gym really cold. And then next I have my hat. I love going incognito in the gym, so I like to hide in my hat. So that's that. Next, I have my um, pants. These are the Lululemon pants as well. It's like a mauve color. I have the whoop, matching sports bra. Whoop, I'm stuck. I have the matching sports bra. Uh, let's see here. Hairbrush, socks, and let's go here. Keys, because I need to get to the gym. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the sides here first. We have lip balm. Can't you can't go without lip balm. AirPods, of course. I don't want to hear anybody else except for just my music. And then my card. So I would not carry a wallet if I go to the gym just because I would just keep my cards in here. Don't want, really want to bother with an entire wallet. Anything else in here? Oh, right here. A hair tie. And my little good luck charm. Not really good luck charm, it's a rosary. And last but not least, um, I have sneakers. Sneakers, and this is a old Kate Spade shoe bag that I got like a long time ago. 
I just casually use that to hold everything. And then these are my Nike shoes that I use at the gym. So everything fits in there perfectly. Um, but that would be a good example if you were to go to the gym, see how versatile this bag is. And the best thing is the interior is black. So unless you're gonna go spill like white out in there, you're not really going to create any stains in there that's going to really bother you. And you saw even with it closed, it didn't have any like weird dents coming out from the front or anything like that. Um, it didn't have any in the back either. Just realized I didn't show you guys. But the bag is really sturdy, guys. I love this bag so much. Uh, last scenario I'm going to show you guys is if I'm walking around in the city. So this is like if I'm going shopping, I'm not going to carry my laptop. Or if I go to New York and I'm going to go walk around for an entire day what I would put in there. All right, so this is going to be the last and final scenario, which is if I'm going out to the city to walk around um, or I'm going out somewhere to kind of explore for the day and I just need some stuff with me or just my essentials really. So open it up. So first thing, of course, I have my phone I'm gonna throw that over there. I have my scarf in case I get cold. You always need that. Next thing I have is going to be my wallet. I do carry my full wallet. Hairbrush, glasses again. Never take care of those. My little toiletry bag clutch thing has this exact same thing in there as earlier car keys and card holder uh headphones so the apple airpods my lucky rosary from my mom and the last thing which is what i love about this bag that it fits is it does fit an extra pair of shoes so you saw that i could fit the Sneakers in there, I can fit heels in here too. So I have my Pagals in there. And the best thing is, trust me, if it can fit this, you can fit flats in there. Uh, usually what I'll do is if I'm going after the city, I know that I might go somewhere where I want to wear heels and look prettier or anything like that. I would carry an extra pair of heels to wear. And usually I do go for my nude Pagals just because it matches absolutely everything. By the way, I do get them done at a shoe place, um, at a shoe cobbler, to get them resold with the red rubber. And it is the best thing ever. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. I know it's like so unrelated, but it's the best thing I ever did. So you see how dirty that is right there? I'm gonna show you what I can do. All right, guys, so see how dirty that is right there? Just water wipes. Oh, I had two in there. Oops. <laughs> See how dirty that stuff is coming off? And obviously you can go more thorough with this, with like a little like scrubbing thing. Sometimes what I like to do is Sephora sells those exfoliant wipes. Um, I'll just like wash the wash it off and then use the wipe by itself, soak it up with water, and you can kind of scratch off anything that is really like stuck on there. But it's rubber, guys. It really doesn't matter. So that is with it completely cleaned off. Just like a brand new pair of red bottom heels. Brand new pair of pigals. Best thing I ever did. I just have to show you guys that because I don't know, I think it's like the best advice you can give to somebody that wants to get these heels. So anyway, so that is the final, final um, scenario for this bag. Again, I do have a review for this bag. You guys can see it. I'll link it at the end of this video so you guys can look at it. And I'll also be doing a outfit to how to dress this bag up in different scenarios as well. This is really just for helping you guys decide if this bag is really the bag you want to get. 
Um, I thought a lot about getting this bag. I love this bag to bits. I've been waiting for three years to get this. So I'm really happy that I did get it and I would want whoever that's going to spend this much money to feel the exact same way, to feel like it is the perfect bag for them. And aside from that, thank you so much for watching and feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this and bye. See you guys later. Luna, you are always on my stuff, just like Emmy. Come here. Come here, baby. Luna, Luna come here. Why are you rubbing all over my bag? Why are you rubbing all over everything? Hi. Hey, co-star. What's going on? Hmm? What's going on? Say hi. Say hi. No? You and your sister may better not take a good liking to this bag and start scratching it or anything. I'll, I'll get so sad, I'm going to cry. Because you're already rubbing your head all over everything else. Mm-hmm. Look at that, guys. Look at how much Luna loves that box. Anyway, okay, I'm, I'm actually gone. Okay, right, bye.